So what I'm going to demo today is uh, how to build a Teams test module using Bot Member Composer. So for those of you who don't know what Composer is, Composer is one of the newest additions to the bot framework ecosystem, where you can actually build a bot without writing too much code. At least there's some opportunity to write code. You don't need to be a hardcore dev to, to write your whole um, bot logic and all of that stuff um, using either .NET or JavaScript or whatever. So you can use Composer as a more or less GUI for sketching out your bot's logic, the dialogues, and team-specific actions in there as well. So if you're not familiar with Composer, just hit it uh, aka.ms forward slash PF Composer, uh, download it, and you're good to go. So first things first, what I'm going to do now is open up Composer. Uh, it comes with a little intro screen, shows you all of the bots you've already created. For this demo, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Um, as you can see in here, there are a lot of templates for C Sharp and Node.js, uh, which you can pick and choose from. We go with the core bot with language template, select next, use some folder you want to create it in, and then just click on create. And while it's creating, what it actually does now is scaffolding out the whole project. So Composer actually creates a new folder in there with the project files in there and everything, uh, which is part of the template. And while it's creating and scaffolding the project, I'm going to switch over to the Azure portal because I've prepared a little bit um, to have all of the bits and pieces connected together beforehand before we actually uh, sketch out our bot. So I've already gone into the Azure portal, created the new Azure bot, which was called Bot Channel Registration Service beforehand. So we'll need that to have our bot as well as the task module um, be running into in Microsoft Teams. So I've already created that. I've already enabled the Microsoft Teams channel in there, as you can see. So my Azure bot service is already waiting for us to uh, be, be running in, in Microsoft Teams. So that should be good. And as, you, as we switch back to Composer, it's now building the runtime. So it takes a little while, as I said, it's getting the new templates on the fly building everything, merging the packages together. And within a couple of minutes, it should be good to go. And hopefully, my machine is not that as low as Teams is today. So we should be good to go with our bot in a couple of seconds. Yeah, getting there. Now it's there. So as we can see, we have chosen a template, which already states us that we need to set up language understanding, so we'll do so. I've already created a new Lewis service uh, within Azure. So what it actually does now is it's asking me to authenticate to my Azure account to grab all the keys by itself. So don't mistype my password. I should be able to sign in. Then it should actually let me choose from my Azure subscription the language understanding resource name. So it's loading the keys. As of now, we can pick one of the Lewis keys and then it pasted it in um, as we can see in here. The other thing we'll need to run our bot in the end in Teams is the app ID and app secret. So I'll paste that in, and then we should be good to go. So the first thing we will need is to add a new package to our bot from the package management console in here. So there are a lot of packages in there. Um, if you'd like to, if you feel something is missing in there, you can just add a new package um, through the bot Permit community repo. Um, and as we are building a Teams task module, we'll add the new Teams package to our bot. So actually, we're pulling out or pulling in a new package into, into our bot uh, project, which gets then installed and which then adds additional features to our bot as well as to Composer or to the UI of Composer. So now we should be good to go with the packages. 
Um, and as we see, we have a pretty basic bot which, which comes with a lot of uh, intents in there, greeting, cancel, help, and stuff like that. Um, and as we want to build a new, uh, a new assistant for us, who should be capable of ordering pizza for us, we'll add a new intent in there or a new trigger of type intent recognized. So language understanding comes into play, which is called order food. And we'll paste in some sample utterances, like I want to order pizza or can I order pizza and stuff like that to make our language understanding uh, service aware that these types of phrases should be connected to the order food intent. And in there, what we want to do next is display a hero card. So hero card is more or less uh, similar to, to an adaptive card, um, but not that, that rich in functionality. So in order to do that, we'll send a new response whenever someone wants to order food. And within the bot responses, we say we want to attach something or we want to add a new attachment to that response. We can select create from template and select hero card. And then in there, we'll just paste in a new hero card. So it comes with a, with the subtitle and it comes with one button in that uh, instance. And in order to use that button, we'll need to add something to our language generation template. And I'll just quickly remove all the text responses. So we'll make sure that just the hero card gets um, displayed. So we're going to basically go to our bot responses. As you can see in here, this is the language generation part of it. So we'll make sure to add something to our core with language template. Scroll down to the bottom and I've already prepared something, um, which is a template for a new hero card. Where you can actually on the fly paste in attributes or properties and we'll see in here. This is our button we have included in our um, in our uh, hero card, and within that button we see there's a new um, action of type task fetch. So this basically makes teams aware that whenever someone clicks that button, um, the task module should be fetched, and the, the the task module action should be should be run. So in that case, task forward slash fetch. Um, basically indicates teams that a new task module or a specific task module should be fetched and should be presented to the user. So if we switch back to the dialog, um, what we can do next is adding a new trigger to our bot. And this time we won't select intent recognized, but we'll select Microsoft Teams as the type of trigger. And then we go with on task module fetch because we need to respond within the bot's logic um, to, the, to the click of the button. So we'll select on task module fetch. And as we have um, set an ID for our, uh, for our uh, button, we can go ahead and add a new condition to that. And in that condition, we can say, if the button ID is order fetch, we want to execute um, the logic which comes, uh, which comes next. Um, so task module fetch basically indicates we want to fetch the task module uh, and we'll need to do something with that fetch. So we're going to go ahead and select send a new task module card response. And within that new task module card response, we basically can say we want to send an either adaptive card or hero card or whatever. You could also go ahead and send a new more or less iframe if you'd like to so you can basically send or respond with a with a web view uh, of your own html oops i need to copy and paste the whole thing without losing some brackets to make it work so i've already prepared my adaptive card beforehand and that should basically be it so we added a new adaptive card attachment to our uh, task module response, give it a title, um, order of food or something like that. You can then say you want to limit the hate and width of that adaptive card, which gets then popped out in the Teams client, and that should be that should be good to go. Let's just start ng rock 
for a second and then give it a go and run our bot. And after a couple of seconds, the bot should be up and running. And if we're going to then switch to Teams, I've already prepared my Teams app with the, with the bot I've shown earlier. So I have a, a new Teams application in there running um, with the bot. And upon, when it has started, we could potentially, let's just minimize the windows, so we'll see everything in here. We could potentially start communicating with that bot. Yeah, somehow Teams is eating up my CPU, I guess. So now it started. If we're going to go ahead and select I, I guess it should greet us. At least I see the incoming request on my NG Rock terminal. Okay, at least it's responding. And if I then you know, go ahead and say I want to order pizza, we should get the hero card as said. So that's the hero card, the first part. With the button when clicking the button we should be represented with the adaptive card so everything in here is the adaptive card um, which actually lets us pick and choose from a pizza type and then we could order but order actually doesn't do anything in in here yet because we haven't responded to the on task module submit action so we need to go back add another trigger of type microsoft teams on task module submit and then what we can do is we can respond to that submit with a new task module message response so we'll stay within the task module and what we can do then is say thanks for ordering a pizza whatever type of pizza the user orders so we restart that and just going back to the adaptive card we should see somewhere in here that this is the id pizza type so that's basically a property within the adaptive card which we've set um, and if we've done everything right on restarting the bot going back to teams click on order pizza again task module fetch is now kicking in then we can select pizza type and if we click order task module submit action will be triggered and then bot actually responds with thanks for ordering a pizza so you can basically grab information through a task module from an adaptive card, paste it back to the bot, and then handle something um, within the bot's logic. So you can reach out to an API or whatever. That's about it for the demo. If you'd like to follow along, visor.io, there's a complete tutorial with that um, sample in there. So if you'd like to do the same, just feel free or ping me. Thanks. Awesome stuff, Stephen. Uh, really, really cool. I pasted his links in the chat. Um, Stephen, by the way, I'll be putting in my order for lunch here shortly through <laughs> your bot. So really cool. Thanks. And I'm hungry for pizza.